Brandy back, time for more Brandon's boy problems. So, this relationship has really taught me a lot about myself, especially like negative qualities. It's just kind of like, I can be very short-tempered, impatient, but I also feel like being single for so long and being on my own, like even as an only child and being independent, it's just kind of like, I'm used to moving at my own pace and I'm used to doing everything on my own and I'm used to just being like attentive, alert, assertive, etc. But then when you're in a relationship, it's like you have to, you're no longer alone. It's like you don't move as fast or as you wanted to because it's like you have someone else on your little buoy together and then it's like you have to like paddle at your own speed or like one person can't paddle for the both of you. And it's just kind of like hard. <laughs> Relationships are very difficult. I did definitely realize like I feel like I've spent so much of my life like worrying about getting into a relationship but I feel like I don't know what to do when I'm in it like it's so much emphasis on getting a boyfriend but then it's so much harder to maintain a relationship and I feel like this is a probably a bigger problem that many people go through especially lots of gay people because I feel like most gay relationships don't last that long and it's just like you do put more emphasis on getting a man but then keeping a man it's like oh my god what do I do next and I do feel like we all have our own traumas and issues and insecurities and backgrounds, et cetera. And you're bringing all that with someone else's insecurities and traumas and backgrounds, et cetera. And it's just like a world win. So it just feel like it's a lot. <laughs> Gay relationships are so hard. I mean, relationships in general are so hard. But I do feel like I've definitely learned so much about myself in this relationship and things I need to work on and improve. I feel like the biggest thing from my previous relationship that I learned was just how the sexual incompatibility is probably what I mostly worked on the most, getting over my fear of anal sex, my fear of like HIV, getting on prep, feeling more comfortable, feeling more secure, but I didn't really work on the more like personal things, but I also kind of felt like whatever my partner expressed to me like about negative qualities about myself, I didn't take seriously after finding out like he was a pathological liar, everything about him was a lie, so it's kind of just hard to believe anything you have to say, even about me, or like, it feels like you're trying to blame me for things, but you're not admitting to the wrong things that you're doing that have been proven to be true that you fucked up, you're a liar, and you're not remorseful or like apologizing for it. And I kind of just feel like you can't tell me about myself when you can't even tell you who you are. So I do feel like it's important to listen to what you're partner's issues are with you especially when it does feel like they're poor like telling you about your negative qualities because I feel like it is easy to not know your negative qualities when it's like if you spend so much time being single you have nobody else calling you out you're not spending time with anyone for them to get to know you on this level where they can be able to point out negative qualities about you or be able to tell you things about yourself that you may not have realized and I do feel like it is hard to face those hard truths but I also feel like it's important to also address them because if, if this relationship doesn't even work out, you still have to fix these qualities in future relationships. Like you don't want to keep dealing with the same issues over and over and over again. And I know I can be definitely difficult. I can definitely be a huge bitch. I'm an only child. I'm a Scorpio. I've been spoiled. I've been lots of things where I'm used to getting my way. I'm not used to dealing with other people. I'm used to just doing what I want, get what I want, focus on myself. But now it's like in a relationship, it's like, there's always two of us and it's always you always have to think like you can't make decisions just for yourself there's two of us here everything impacts each other everything impacts the other person so you have to really focus on the two of you as one and that's definitely really hard to adjust to after being single for most of your life like that's something I've had to struggle with being single most of my life that again my actions and my feelings and my words definitely impact someone else and can't get so easily frustrated and flustered and annoyed when it's just you have to realize if you don't want to be alone you do have to deal with adjusting to being with someone else and how they're different than you and how difficult things can get and be but you still have to never give up and be focused on making the relationship better and fixing things between the two of you because relationships are so hard and not easy whatsoever but they're definitely worth it if you are willing to put in the work and never let anyone tell you you're too hard to love though because again we all are difficult to love we all have our flaws we all have our issues but it's never too impossible to love you someone out there will love you and appreciate you for who you are but you also have to put in the work to make yourself more easily able to love and fix some issues between you because 
again, we all have things we have to work on. And at the end of the day, it's like, no one's gonna accept you for you if you have a lot of toxic qualities and negative qualities. Like we all have toxicity, we all have negatives, but you still have to work on those things. You can't just expect Mr. Perfect to come into your life and then he's going to accept you as you are with all of your <laughs> negativity and toxicity. Like you still have to work on that stuff. I'm working on my stuff. It's a lot. I feel like I keep learning more and more I have to work on, but I want my relationship to last. I love being in love. I love having love in my life. And I feel like I've waited so long to finally have a more healthy relationship. It's like, I don't want it to be toxic like my last one. So you have to be willing to put in the work to make sure your life can improve. So thanks for joining me for this episode of Brandon's Boy Problems.